In this video, Jim and Charbel meet for the very first time. They were in the middle of a conversation about the past and what one should have done differently. Here is what Jim has to say about that. You know, like, so you don't do this, 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 and this. And if you've done that, no shame, no blame. Like, you can't go back in time. As in, you know what I mean? Like, the point of feeling guilt over anything you've done, stuff like something like really bad, like kill somebody, there's like no need to feel guilt or anything like that. Mm -hmm. it is what it is. Yeah. Like, I was telling Nick, like, you waking up to this at 19, like, I'm teaching you the things I went through, like, in my early to mid 20s. Okay. Like, you're already, like, way ahead of the game. And, okay. Like, I've set myself up pretty on 31. So, um, you know. Leaps and bounds ahead of most people at my age, like financially. Okay. And still, like, I didn't wake up to this until like 25. They then it talked about the hoodie Charbel was wearing. Who did that for you? Uh, I brought, I got a gun in Boston. Yeah, yeah. I just, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, sick. I got a quote from somebody to do mm -hmm. t shirts for us. I have one in the mall, actually. There's a guy in the mall that does them. Get it, get it. Right here where I work. So. Well, the guy, the guy bought the nine there was like 24 shirts minimum on two. Three. But the thing is that the mall, yeah, the, the mall, they charge up the ass. Okay. Yeah. So if we had to go, get any profit off of them, we have to go at least 15. Yeah, 60. So 64. Sure. Like the guy that quoted us 24 shirts, it was only like 225. Yeah, 24 shirts. Per shirt. That is pretty cheap. Yeah. Charbel then shows Jim his car and tells him about it. This is her. Oh shit! This is his. Miles per gallon. Paid off free and clear. Clean title. Call it a Maserati? Call it a Maserati, right? Whatever you want to call it. It's a Toyota, which means it doesn't break either. <laughs> I don't even lock it. That's the beauty of having it. <laughs> don't even lock it. I'm more worried about my notes. If all my notes get taken than anything else. Yeah. Get this out there. Oh, God. It's a hatchback. I'll lock it. There's a little trunk? What's a whole hatchback? Oh, shit. Come on, you got space. I put the seats down without having to take a wheel off or anything. That's her. <laughs> What's her name? Prius. <laughs> <laughs> mine, mine is. Calls it Prius. Uh, my, my dude's name is Sarah. Cause it's a, it's a Sahara. All right. Yeah. Clever. Running on battery. Uh huh. Proficient. Um, sometimes you don't even know what's on. Could you drive this or not? I can, yeah, I can drive anything. You put me on behind no, the wheel for. Like, could you see yourself being like the owner of the Oh, definitely not. Okay. Alright, so we're going to waste our time. Because <laughs> <laughs> <'cause> my, because <laughs> of my history. But no, I, I can, yeah, so I can, I can own it. Drive Ford Explorer, but a, a V8 like limo Dodge Ram. You used to have all that fancy stuff. Dodge Ram. This, and after this, strictly bicycle. It's just you'll wake up. It's just a matter of time of when and how much you spend in the process of getting there. How fast you want to get to that point to have like if you want to have freedom. The biggest thing you can consider right now is how to grow the gap. So right, it's earn, and then you can only invest the difference between what you earn and what you spend. What what is in between earning and spending? That's mm -hmm. the gap. That's so the you get earning. And so the more, the, the less you can spend, and the more you can earn, the bigger your gap. And that bigger the gap, the more you can invest. And the more you can invest, the sooner you become financially independent. Sorry. There's a 2017. 1998. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what year is this? 09. 09? I'm the second owner. I drive a Prius. <laughs> right? Yeah. Who does care? But I don't know, man. See, the. That's the problem with fucking the world right now, man. Everyone's materialistic. Not everybody, you. All right. It's not. Dick rides a shitty bike with a rusted chain. I drive a Prius rarely. How many miles is that? Oh, 20,000? 20, 20, 200. Oh, 200,000. Oh, 200,000, yeah. What did I say? My Jeep has more. 
It's sick though, I like it. I mess with it. Yeah, it's super efficient. Like you said, basically, you said you'd need a vehicle to get you to work and to home. Yeah. Like something like this can just do that without affecting your budget at all. True. Like you just drop, you pay this once, and you basically, so you know like excise tax, I'm sure you know that when that thing comes. Yep. So like the excise tax on this is like the minimum. Oh. Park. Wait, which part? Oh, it's a button? Key, baby. It's rolling though. Still, uh, hold on. Get closer to the curb, then hit the brake, and then put it in front. So this is the Bluetooth connect. So you can wirelessly do your phone. Call. This is better than my Jeep. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> my cousin just got his license. He's looking for a car too. So you get your competition, but I like you better to be honest. That's the thing, man. Go ahead. Try now. Oh, is it uh, is it childproof? Yeah. It's childproof. Yeah, it's dick proof. Alright. Why the road? Do it. Yeah. This thing costs as much as my car, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about an investment. Sounds like me, man. It's a lot about Own a pair of Gucci's, two Ray Bans, and then one Oakley. You have a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And like everything you have, it takes up like more materialistic things. It just takes up mental energy. You gotta like care for them, and you gotta maintenance all the stuff that you have. Just the less stuff you have in your life, the less you have to worry about. More you can focus on big picture things. Dude, I never, I never looked at it like that. Every, that's. That's what, like every, it's America's filled 90% middle class. Then you have a little bit of poverty and a little bit of wealth, right? Yep. 90, that's why, because you obviously 90% is a high, like we're surrounded by 90%ers and we act like them. We act like everybody else. It sucks. <laughs> right? oh, wow. <laughs> it's like, that's crazy. But it's beautiful, like once you realize it. Like, Maybe the too much wind? No, it's good. I think it was picking up. Yeah, it's Scare the Prius. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Still with This is awesome though. Makes me nervous. Yeah, it does, because you don't, you don't know what it's going to do. You walk a lot? Run, gym, bike a lot, everything. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty active. <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Another thing, like, I like to look at it with, like, time management. That's one of the things. So the best part about, like, biking for a commute is yeah. you can work out and commute at the same time. Yeah, definitely. Kill two birds with one stone. Definitely, yeah. It's funny, like, again, back to 90%, like, America's, like, the place where... People drive to the gym, park in the front row, take the escalator up, and then go on a trip. Right? <laughs> right? It's like, <laughs> all right. Uh, I remember you were going to Rachel Rhode Island? Yeah. Been up on the suicide bridge, everything, man. I've been everywhere, so. <laughs> no way. Yeah. I climbed all the way on the top of that thing. Okay, never mind then. So what's the backup plan? I think that. No, that's the backup plan. Oh, okay. So you have to stick louder. Okay. <laughs> you didn't just like, jump off into the water, did you? No, no, definitely not. I mean. Okay, never mind. But legend has it that there's approximately more than 20 suicides every year that yeah. happens up there. Okay. That's what I read about it. Uh, but then again, it was on Wikipedia, so I don't know. Yeah. Why oh, is this a beautiful bike path? Yeah. I never, I never seen this before. They all went deep on it. Huh? Oh yeah, no, definitely not. So, it's telling me, right? What? If I don't get rid of the Jeep, then being financially free would take longer, or yeah, would it be on impossible? Not impossible. Just longer. Yeah. Okay. Delay it. Yeah. And yeah. then you're still feeding that beast that is that, uh, that whole, like, you know, you were, like, sitting there cringing, like, I hope none of my friends see me driving this Prius and this and that. You're gonna, that's why you're gonna keep, you know, yeah. it's nice that you're, like, motivated now. Okay. Because uh, it is that everybody, and a lot of people did, like, warn me, my friends that were smarter than I or, like, some mentors I had in my life uh -huh. when I talked about getting the truck. Uh -huh. Um. They all told you the same thing? Some people did say, like, just, Jim, just know it's it's hard to go back in, like, lifestyle. Definitely, like, man. Go, like, up, it's hard to go back. Dude. But, you know, <laughs> I, I'm going to say, like, I proved him wrong. Like, I went up to that stupidity, high-class level, and I came back down, and I'm, I'm still... But you just, you find different things that give you joy. Like, once, once you have real confidence, it's not about... Literally, like you'll you'll read the book, and there's literally a chapter called "You're Not What You Drive," right? Once you kind of feel that, and you have confidence in yourself and the things that you do and what you bring to the world. It's not uh -huh. about what you wear, it's not about what you drive. Those aren't the things that bring you happiness anymore. You're uh -huh. bigger than that. Yeah, it's just I put clothes on in the morning. I get into anything. I get from A to B. How I commute? Is it the bus? Is it a you know a Jeep? Is it a Prius? Is it a bike? I, it's just a commute. That's okay. all it is. It's not. It doesn't define me. It's not who I am. And like any like, you know, girl or anything that you, someone that you meet in your life that like would care about those types of things. That's probably not someone that you want in your inner circle, anyways. True, because they're, they're with you for the materialistic stuff. So. Yeah, and that's that's kind of where I stand on that. It's, like I said, just like decluttering mm. my life is just so nice. Yeah, man. Getting rid of all hey, right now I got three credit cards open. I had two of them almost maxed out. I gotta like get back from there, and yep, like I got rid of like I I keep my credit cards at home now because I I know myself. Like I pay it and then boom, I swipe it again, all right. and I just keep going into that loop. It's a cycle. It's a, it's just a cycle. I just keep going in. So I just kept it at home. I gotta try to find a, another way. Yeah, that's. I mean, the, so the person, like like I said, like you are so beneficial at tag team to be kind of opening your eyes and stuff like this. Like when I, so when I learned this now, I was 25, like it took a couple of years to me, like put my own auction mask off, for lack of a better word, before I started felt confident enough to help others and teach others. Uh -huh. But like one of my first studies, if you will, was my dad. And you know, now he's just like, uh -huh. when you look at like sheep, or fast forward 10 years from now, and I have a kid, and Jeep spend time with future kids. Jeep spend time with future kids. You know, like, Jeep be retired um, earlier so I can do more meaningful projects, move the world forward, maybe be remembered for something really special. 
you know, or oh, just work material is shit, and on your tombstone it'll say, "Here's such and such. He made a lot of money and spent a lot of money. Thank you for your contributions." <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Oh yeah, man, yeah, yeah that's crazy. The economy with his credit cards. That's what that—that that was the biggest thing. That like Nick said to me, like, you know, I'm someone that does like want to be a leader in teaching and mentoring. And yeah. um, that's what I want to be remembered for. And one of the reasons are I want the things that I do to help live me, right? Like, I want to be remembered for like, awesome things. And, like, like, this guy, like, he really made the most of his time on the planet. Like, he fed it, you know, he made the planet a healthier place, he helped people along the way. That's awesome. You know, he, he had to work till he was 70. Then he played golf until he got, like, a hip replacement. And then he just sat on the couch and what golf until he died? Like, Ooh, no, yeah. don't do that. Scotty, I'll build that. You know what's what that's called? Yeah. Like quadruple kayaking? That's called crew. Crew. Okay, okay. 23, hopefully it doesn't go now once it's over the water. Okay. I just, I just just died and just fell in the wall. That's scary, man. I, I don't trust that thing. I don't know. That's a no, it, so I had the battery die on me saying it basically gave you a warning like, battery's dead. I'm gonna start looking for a safe place to bring it down. Yeah. Oh, does that safe place to live? Yeah, it said that. I'm gonna start looking for a safe place to bring her down. And I did not object. Do you think? True. Safely land. True. What part of Boston um, do you have family in? Uh, they're in the uh, city. I don't even know what it's called, but they're in the city. Okay. I just go the there. proper. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I uh, just had my uncle pass over there. I was like out of commission for a little bit with me and Nick. Yep. I think it was, it was a little sit back, I guess. Yeah. And uh, I was chilling there for a little bit. You know, my whole family was over there. I came back and I would continue. That's when you came. I was like, oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You caught me at a good time, my friend.